They're moving too. They're moving real quick. Here we go. There's a shark eating one. Oh my god, we got a fish on the noodle rod. Got one. Shark right there. Look at him. Oh, shark! There's a shark behind it. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. We are about to go and run a muck in the mangroves. We've got a bow and arrow. We've got a camo hoodie. We've got a camo face sock. We're hiding this time. What I want to try is, I want to try to go plug a very big mullet for dinner or lunch this afternoon. Bow and arrows in hand. We are still on this mission where I'm in the bush for an X amount of days, only eating what we catch. So the last couple of days I've been completely living off the land. It has been successful. This one, we're filming this episode. What I want to do is I want to go see if we can plug a couple of big mullet, find a couple of mud crabs. Doesn't matter what we find. All I've got to do is try to find a feed before the sun sets this afternoon. So what I've got is, we've got this camo, camo shirt on. The reason why I'm wearing this is because somebody said to me, every time I wear white shirts, the fish see me. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to give it a red hot crack. Let's go. We're, we're camoed up. Let's go see if we can find a couple of fish in the mangroves. Still got a little bit of time to wait before this tide fully pushes up. Right now it's not ideal for throwing arrows around, but it will be in about the next hour or two. So I'm just going to walk around, look for mud crabs cruising around. Still going to have a shot at a fish, but in the next hour or two it should really, really turn on. This water is super clear, there's not too much wind. It is bloody hot right now. Like I said, it's probably about 45 degrees Celsius right now. She's warm, flies are friendly, but I reckon we're going to get a couple of slobs on the deck. I bloody hope so because I've got no food. We really oh one or two mullets all we need mate that's it check this out two massive brim right here there's a heap of big whiting behind the brim there that's a big brim not gonna be able to shoot there's another brim there look at him i don't want to be shooting brim right now but if we have to later on we will i'm trying to target big mullet that's what i really want to be eating this arvo look at this also, I'm just going to keep my eye out for a big crab. Big, big school of fish. Big school of fish just swam straight past me up here. Look at this. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty big. I'm going to run around here, see if we can flank them. See if I can get in front of those fish. They look pretty big. They're moving too, they're moving real quick. Where are they, where are they? Hopefully they didn't push out wide. Come on. Oh, they're just there, look. We've got to go, we've got to, we've got to go further up here. We'll get them in front of that bush over there. Go, go, go. Oh, this ain't good for me ankle. I need to get these fish. All right. They should come close to this mangrove because this mangrove's the furthest one out. Oh, I'm going to sit on the back of this mangrove. Here we go. Come on. Look at all the whiting in there. Hundreds of whiting. Oh, those fish are coming past now. Here come those fish. Oh, they're moving. What are they? <sighs> big mullet. They are big mullet, dude. And they're moving too. They're too far apart. <sighs> they're too far apart to even aim at them. I'm just going to have to take pot shots. Hopefully we land an arrow through one. Got one more shot here. Go, go, go. No. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit of fun to start the morning. That was mullet, probably be about 20 to 30 mullet, good size too. The problem is that they're just moving like they're doing. They're absolutely flying through the water. You can't really take time and aim it up. You just gotta take pot shots at them. Oh, look at this. There's another school of mullet coming in here. I took three shots, all shots missed. I wasn't aiming, I was just having a fluke shot, but We've got fish coming up here. Once this water fills up, 
once this tide fills up, you can really sneak behind the fish, take your time, sort of like really aim up and then get some good shots in them. But for now, we're just gonna be running around having a bit of fun until the tide pushes up. That was a good laugh. Got the heart racing. All right, let's keep going. There's fish out here. They're a deep lover crack. Have a look at this turtle right here. He doesn't know we're behind him yet. He's gonna freak out. You wanna see that turtle? He's coming up for a breath of air now already. Look at him. There you going, champ. Look at this shark up here. There's a shark coming straight for us. He's actually a decent sized shark. He would be lovely eating. Oh, he's just punching out to sea now. Don't know if you guys can see. Oh, he's coming towards us. There's another shark right there. Sometimes if you do this, they come right. Look at him coming straight for it. Look at him straight there. He's coming in. There he is there. Another one right there. <sighs> couple of sharks about. Good sign. Here's a couple of whiting. The shark's coming straight back in. All right, we're gonna have to run again. There is a big school of mullet again. The problem is that these mullet are moving very, very quickly. Like they're probably swimming at 15 knots. Nah, <laughs> 15 knots. They're not swimming at 15 knots, but you know what I mean, they're hooking. We just gotta stay, in, stay ahead of them and try to flank them. I'll see if I can get ahead of them up here. Here we go, they're just out there. They're just out there, look. Oh, look at them all. Okay, this is one of those situations I'm probably just gonna have a pot shot. There's a lot of them there, but they're sitting deep. Oh, they're coming straight through, look at this, dude. We'll probably try to aim one up. Shit. Come on, come on. Come back, come back. All right, they're coming back through here, look. Go, 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 go. You still have a crack at these ones here. Nah. Oh, no good, no good. <sighs> We're literally just taking pot shots at these fish. You can't even aim them up. They're moving so fast through the water. And at the same time, they're sitting at, at least, well, what am I, I'm knee deep. Out there was just about waist deep, so that's why we're not really plugging them. It's fun though, it's hell fun. You're joking. It is very, very active out here right now. There's a lot of fish. They're all sitting deep because that tide's not in yet. So they all sit out there. Once they, once they have the ability to come right up into the mangroves, they usually push right up. But what I've seen just over my back corner here is that there is a big school of mullet. And I'm talking like proper size mullet, 500, 600 mil long. They're big dogs. They're right here. I'm gonna slap a GoPro on my head and have a crack. Check this out. Three big mullet. Problem is that they're in the open water. And they're quite deep. Pot shots again. Got one. Got one. Hold on, let's leave him on the arrow. Let's see if we can do one more pot shot. We just got a fish on that one. He should stay on there. Pot shot, pot shot, pot shot. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? This way. Oh, look how fast they're moving. Ready, set, go. Nothing. 
We got one fish, beautiful eating fish. Look at that, that is a beautiful whiting. Real good eating. Chuck him in the backpack, that's a good fish. Delicious. There he is, that is a beautiful whiting. These things are great eating. If I can get a handful of them, we're gonna be eating real good. There's heaps of them out here. I'm just having pot shots at them. There's too many, they're too far away to aim up. They're just in big schools. You just have pot shots, hell fun. Great eating fish. Straight in the backpack with that one. We'll keep moving on. Yeah. Just gonna have a little bit of a shade break, a little bit of a hydration station time. Walking around for a while. There's a lot of fish, they're just pushed out. They're still out sitting out far. So I've just got to wait for them to come into the mangroves. All we're doing is waiting for the tide to push. We've got one whiting on the deck, beautiful eating fish. If we can get in like four or five whiting, that's enough, that's enough for dinner. I'm just out here to get a feed. So if we can get a couple more whiting, a couple of small mullet, even one big mullet, mission complete. Pretty excited to eat some food. I haven't eaten anything all day. Oh. Hey, what water's bloody good. Here we go. Whiting pot shot. Got one. Let's get one more, eh? Are you kidding me? Look at this shark. There's a shark eating my... Get out of here, little bastard. That little shark just comes straight in and started having a suck on that whiting stuck on the end of my arrow there. You're kidding. He didn't even care I was standing here. There's another beautiful one, a little whiting. Again, really good eating. That little shark just comes straight up and started ripping at this fish. That's incredible, that shark did not even care I was there, but that there, good little whiting. Chuck him in the bag, we'll keep pushing on. There's actually a kangaroo over here. There's a little baby kangaroo jumping around here in the mangroves. Just seen him hopping past then. Anyway, there's another fish for the deck. Let's keep going. Boom! Just like that, we're back in the troopy. All right, I pulled the pin on the bow and arrow mission just for a little while. We've got two whiting, which are in the fridge right now. They're going to be beautiful, they're going to be fresh. They're going to be a good bit of grub, but it's not enough for dinner. So what we're doing now is I'm just driving along the shore and I'm just looking for schools of mullet. Once I locate a school of mullet, I'm going to jump out and we're going to, um, we're going to go to town on them. But first we need to find a couple of mullet. Beautiful water, nice and clear. It is a little bit windy. That's half the reason why I pulled the pin on the, um, the bow and arrow mission, because it was a little bit windy just taken off the top of the water. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's all right. Still sort of see through with these polarization sunnies. Just cruising along now in the troopy, looking for fish in the shallow water. When we see him, I'm gonna pull up the... right here. Where's that fish? Look at this. Right there, that's fish. They're not big though, they're, they're tiny, but that's a little line of fish there. Dude, have a look at this. This is off its head. There is, I don't know, probably a couple of hundred mullet in a school out here. The problem is that they're about 15 meters off the back of the shore there. They're a little bit too far. What I've got is down here is we've got a 10 foot cast net. Now this thing is what I usually use when I get my mullet. I don't know if I've used this on the videos yet, but this is usually how we get mulloway bait back in the day. Oh, I, still do, I still do it. I just don't think I show you guys too much, but that's called a cast net. And what it does is it just spreads this big open net over these fish and we can get a heap of them if they come a little bit closer they're slowly coming closer there's a little little school of them here there's a big school out there there's a lot of fish in there man one throw with that we're eating for the next bloody two weeks look at them all all right what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna lob the noodle rod into the middle of that school of fish quickly just to see what they are they look like mullet the fins that are coming out of the water look like mullet oh I just foul hooked one, man. Oh my God, we got a fish on the noodle rod. I don't know if we foul hooked it or what. It's going spastic. What have we got here? Oh, we got a little trevally on here. We got about a million massive mullet out the back there. Come on, get up here, get up here. 
boom, look at that. We could eat him for sure, but we're not gonna. I'll let him go. Look at that thing. That thing would be a beautiful little feed around the fire, but we won't keep him, we'll let him go. It's too much of a nice fish. There's other fish out there. See ya, mate. Go, buddy, go, buddy, go. Out of here. <laughs> oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, what are you? Another, probably another trevally, eh? The only time you don't want to be catching these beautiful fish, they're smashing the lures. Go on, mate, out of here. Let's go, back out into the mullet school. They're big mullet, man. It's going to be hard to get in with this rod. Yeah, got one. That's a mullet, that's a mullet. We've got a mullet. All right, we've got a mullet on the noodle rod. Look at it go, bro! <laughs> yes. We've got a mullet. Oh my God, listen to this thing. Come on, big juicy mullet. Hope it's a mullet, it should be a mullet. How many times have I said mullet? Look at the rod, dude. This is why the noodle rod is the best rod on the planet. What have we got here? What are you, what are you, what are you? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bang. Oh, it's a queenie. We just foul hooked a queenie. Oh, this is insane. All I want to do is catch a mullet. Now we've just got this ow, beautiful little queenie. Have a look at him. You can definitely eat this as well. 100% we could put him on the fire, but um, I'm going to let him go. I want to get a mullet. I've just got mullet in my head now. You can eat these. They're quite bony, but they're good, especially when they're fresh. Look how shiny that thing is. They're like a big mirror. I actually foul hooked it. These fish do take the lure that I'm throwing. Let's get him back in, see if we can get another fish on. All right, mate. Tell the mullet I'm, tell the mullet I'm after him. There you go. Wrong way. That way. Get out there. Go on, get, go on. Good boy. So the problem is, is that I'm seeing mullet and they're jumping. But so far we've got two little trevally and a queenie. Which is so, oh, there we, oh, I just dropped him. Which is so, there we go, got it. Oh, got him, ah. All right, what have we got here? Look at that noodle, oh, a shark! There's a shark behind it. Look at this. There's actually a shark chasing it in. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, there's a shark on it. Go, 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 go. Go, little fish, go, little fish. Look at this shark, dude. Oh, it's gonna come right up on the beach. Look at this shark. Oh, the shark's got it at my feet. No, give my lure back. Don't you dare, oh, you mongrel. You see that, a shark just came in, smoked that fish right at my feet just then. You're joking. This is, this is chaos. All right, let's tie another lure on. What is going on? Sharks, oh, the shark. Shark's on it, shark's on it. Go, 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 mullet, go. Look at this shark. Holy moly, dude. That was hectic. What is this? Go on, get up on the beach. Get up on the beach, little fella. Get up on the beach. Oh, that's what we came for. That's what we came for, doggies. That's a mullet, and that is a chunky one. Look at how fat that thing is, dude. That's what I wanted to get. That's dinner. Big, juicy, oily mullet. See that shark? A shark was coming through like a bullet, boy. That's good, man. That's what I wanted. Big, dirty mullet. Yow! Oh, that's a fish. And that's not a mullet. This thing's got big head shakes. Came in and destroyed it. Watch this shark, ready? There's a shark hanging around somewhere. The shark's probably gonna come in and destroy this fish. I hope it doesn't, because this fish is going back. Come on, get in here. It's extremely hard to get these fish up quick. I'm using, ex like, this is PE.8 fishing gear. Very, very, very light. It's probably another little queenie or something. He came in and smashed it, but. Come on, mate, get up here. That's the biggest one yet. He is beautiful. Look at that thing. Look at the colors in this, in the, in the sunset. If I could bloody pick him up. Have a go at that fish. What a specimen. Let me get this camera off my head. Look at that beautiful thing. What a nice fish, man. He came in and belted that. That's the biggest one we've got so far. He's a good little trevally. He's going straight back. He'd be good chewing, but we've got a big mullet. That's what we wanted. Lovely fish, let's get him back in the water. Go on, mate. 
Get back out there. See you, buddy. Jesus Christ, there's a shark right there. I've got the net loaded up. Big school of mullet out the back. I think they might be too still a bit far out for me. I don't know. Hey, this is fishing at its best. The only time I've never wanted to catch a little trevally or a little queenie. I just want to get a mullet. And there are that many queenie and uh, queenies and mullet, I mean queenies and little trevally out there. It's not even funny. We just had a shark come racing in, eat the fish, take off again. It's chaos, man. Watch this, ready? Stay there. Check this out. Hey! Oh, I'm just going to piff that lure there. Let it sink for a second. And then we're just going to pump it back. There's a little bit of wind. Ah, uh, the wind caught that. Oh, we'll do it again. The wind, the wind caught that one. Push. Let's see how we go flicking that way. I reckon they're mullet. I hope they're mullet. Oh, oh, that's fish. See, that's not a mullet because that ate it. We got a fish on. I should probably start keeping some of these fish, eh? Oh, just pulled the Oh! We just pulled hooks on one fish and another one came and ate it. Look at the noodle rod. Yo, baby. <laughs> this is so, so sick. There he is, another beautiful little trevally. Bang, see you later bud. This is what they're eating. He just spat that bit of fish out and that bit of fish out of his guts when he came in just then. There's no shortage of them, eh? So many, let's have another flick. Oh, that's fish, that is fish on. What is happening right now? There are so many sharks out there. Look at the noodle rod, dude. <laughs> I've got to get in past the sharks. I don't know if I'll get this in. I've seen like this little fin cast it at it and this thing just smacked it. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's a little... If this is a good queenie, we'll keep him for dinner as well. You're joking! Are you kidding me? That's actually a mullet. I don't even want to get mullet anymore. Look at that thing. Dude, look at the colours on these fish. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that for a mullet. Look at the colors in them. They're so incredible. Big oily fish, some of the best mulloway bait in the world. Big silver ghost bait. These things are everywhere out there. Look at the colors in this, man. I don't even mean to catch that one then. Beautiful. We'll keep him. That's two. Good fish, good fish. Look at these sharks here. Check out this shark here. They come right up to the beach, man. They're real hungry. I, oh my god, I didn't even see that one there. <laughs> That's psycho. There's one, there's two, there's another one up there. We've got a bang and sunset happening. What I'll do is, I'm going to fill it up the fish here now. So we'll rip the fillets off those two mullet and um, then we'll start punching on out of here. We've got about 15, 20 minutes worth of light left, so it's perfect. Look at that, beautiful sunset. We've got sharks going ham in the background here. Those mullet are still there, they haven't moved. They're not even like, they're just too far to throw a throw net. So I can't really get the net right out there and I'm not going to walk out to me titties in water with all these sharks hanging around. So let's rip a couple of slabs off these fish. Go find somewhere to camp up for the night. Bruh, you guys know, man, you guys know. Look at these slobs down here. Good fish, eh? Good fish. Look at these two whopper mullet. There's one. There's two. That's what we we're trying to get with the bow and arrow today. It was an absolute slob with the bow and a slob, not slob, it was an absolute slug with the bow and arrow trying to get a fish on the deck. This is what we're going for. That is a big mullet. That thing's pushing 45, 50 centimeters. That is a big fish. Look at that, it's longer than, it's longer than this esky and this esky is not small. So there we go. We got these, I'm gonna rip a couple of fillets off them now. Make sure I don't dangle my toes in the water behind me because those sharks, those sharks are rampant, dude. Quickly just dust the fillet off these two fish. This is what we're having for dinner. Beautiful, oily. Mullet's real good if you cook it right. It's also an amazing bait. That's why I wanted to get the throw net out. We could have got some with the um, throw net. Would have been real good. Look at this meat, man. 
Lots of people don't like mullet, eh? But when you travel to places like Indonesia, Philippines, these things are a delicacy over there. Look at the color of that meat. Beautiful and white. It's a very oily meat. I really like eating these mullet. I'm gonna keep these frames. If you guys are like up to date with what we're doing in these videos, I'm actually like out bush for as long as possible living off of the land. So I can't buy any kind of food except for condiments like rice and all that kind of stuff. But like a main meal like this fish, I'm not, I'm not going to the shops ever to buy it. So we're keeping everything. I'm keeping that there. I'm gonna do like maybe a, I don't know, crabbing video. I don't know, use it as bait for crabs or some sort of thing. But these fillets, this is our dinner tonight. Here's the next big doll. Shark coming in hot, look at this. See that shark over there? I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. He was coming in hot, but. Oh, there's a shark right there, look at him. Oh <laughs> here they come, one over there, one over here. One behind me here. They're everywhere now. Here, I'll give you guys a better look. Dude, there's like five sharks here right now. Are you joking? Come on, Rex, Tracy, Sharon, the bloody dinner's ready. Come on. Oh man, it was right there. I didn't even see it, dude. <laughs> I did not even see that shark and it was right there. Hectic. I actually don't want to waste this bit of bait. I need this for a crabbing video later on. This is mine. Anyway, fish are cleaned up. Just gonna clean up that esky. I just chucked the fish in the fridge. Look at this sunset, man. How good is this? Right, I guess I'll see you guys when we're, oh, I'm still wearing this bloody camo shirt. I'm surprised the sharks can even see me right now. All right, I'll see you guys. Oh, look at them, two more. All right, I will see you guys around the kitchen. I'm gonna cook up a feed and I'm that hungry. We're gonna do rice. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do this bloody mullet rice. It's just gonna be a good time. I'll see you guys around the kitchen. Ow! Ah! <laughs> you little shitty owl. He is absolutely scared. If you think that sharks aren't scared of humans, you're wrong. Every shark that comes up here notices I'm a human, even wearing camo, and they take off. Oh, let's go cook some dinner. Look at that sunset. What a time to be alive, eh? How good is this, man? Look at that. All right, we're punching. I'm gonna go and make some dinner. I'm bloody starving. Thinking as I'm driving right now, how am I gonna make this recipe? How are we gonna cook the mullet? My mouth's legitimately drooling right now. Look at the fish down there. There's fish jumping everywhere. No shortage of them. So that tide still hasn't pushed up fully. So we would have been screwed if we kept trying to bow and arrow fish. That tide comes right up to where I'm driving right now, usually. Just didn't have it in it today. Right, I see he's on the flip side. Ow. Oh, what a day. And welcome to the kitchen. All right, we finally found somewhere to pull over and have a little bit of a sleep for the night. So this is also going to be the kitchen now. What we're doing is, I've been racking my brain because there's a lot of different ways to cook mullet. One of my favorite ways to cook a mullet is just to get it, leave the guts on, leave the scales on, leave the skin on and just chuck it straight in the coals. It's the best way to do it. But 
Right now, today, we're not allowed to fire. I think it just about peaked 50 degrees today, Celsius today. It was a bloody hot day, no fires. So we're going to have to do a little bit of civilized, civilized, civilized cooking. What we got down here is a rice cooker. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to quickly slap on a little bit of rice. Jesus Christ. We're going to slap on a little bit of rice. Then we're going to go out there and we're going to start mincing up this um, mullet that we got. And we're going to turn this thing into one hell of a fish curry. So, one cup of rice, going in here, it's going all over the joint as well as in there. One cup of rice, bang. The very, very best thing about this car is that you can use household appliances in the car. So what I do is, plug that there in, and we can use a rice cooker, you can use whatever you want with the power system that we've got in this car. So, one cup of rice, one and a half cups of water, we're gonna bang that in there. We're gonna turn that over to cook, chuck the lid on, be done with it. Let's go outside and start cooking a feed. Hey! Ooh. We've got a spud. I've already cut him in half. I'm probably only gonna use half of that spud. We've got an onion. We've got garlic, curry powder, curry paste. This is actually called tikka masala paste. Medium, medium heat. That is not hot enough for me. What I actually have in the freezer is a bag of these little psycho red chilies and they're that hot. So we'll put some of them in there as well. Coconut cream and coconut milk. There's no reason why I'm using cream and milk. It's just the first two things that I pulled out of the car. So that is what we're gonna be putting in this curry. And then to finish it off, we have a big, big bowl here of that fresh mullet. Four big fillets. Probably gonna eat it all tonight. Look at that, little cricket, get out of here. All right, let's start chopping this up, dicing it up. I am starving. Time, 8.22. Eat nothing all day. Are you kidding me? Look at this kamikaze moth. This thing is gonna have a very, very sore head if it keeps this up, I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna brown that up. Didn't take too long, that's pumping. Contents inside here is browned up. I'm gonna do two big two teaspoons of this curry paste. Now that's simmering away, I'm gonna grab our spuds. I'm gonna drop our thickly cut pieces of potato straight in there. I'm just gonna let it, let those potatoes just soak up the flavor. Oh man, this is gonna be that good. Probably 10 minutes, I'll just let it sit there on a very low heat. Rice is pumping. Stars, I don't know, you guys wouldn't be able to see the stars, but it's, the sky is just incredible right now, dude. It's so lit up. Stars everywhere. We are looking good. All right, now this is what a fillet of mullet looks like. Most people think that mullet is a mushy, disgusting fish. It is extremely firm. Like it's almost got the same texture like shark. If you know what shark feels like, this is what mullet feels like. It's a very, very firm fish and it's a very fatty fish. It's not a much really fatty, it's a very oily fish. This side obviously, see that red stuff there? That's called blood meat. That don't taste good. That tastes real good. So we want that to look like that. So because we're putting this in a curry, I'm just gonna cut him down the guts. Straight down there. Look at the color of that meat. For people who say mullet isn't good, I don't know what you're on about. I'm gonna cut it up into pieces for the curry, but also once you cut it into your little pieces, if you've got a very, very sharp knife like this bad boy here, you can just run your knife down, around, and just take off that top layer of, of blood meat like that, and you're just left with these beautiful little white chunks of fish meat. That's what's gonna be going in our curry. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep cutting this fish up but that's how it looks. Very firm, white, beautiful meat. Mullet's good, eh? I'm gonna cut all that red meat off. We've got a whole bag of it over there. Fish is going straight in now. Look at this. This is gonna simmer away. All right, I'll see you guys when it's finished. That's gonna simmer in there for a little while. This here is what we've got left over. This is gonna be breakfast. Look how much you get out of two, two mullet. That's two, that's probably three feeds. Bang, bang. I'm gonna have that for breakfast. That's dinner. Let's go. Boom! 
and dinner is served. Doggies, look at this, man. We've got one of the bad, most badass curries I've ever had. Oi, seriously, I was busting my ass today trying to get a mullet. Like, all I wanted to do was have mullet for dinner. Look at this. We're eating mullet for dinner. It might be bloody 9.19 at night, but we're still, man. We're eating mullet for dinner. It tastes unreal. I've already been digging into it. Tastes incredibly good. Mullet is one of those fish that's just, you either love it or you hate it, or you might you might like it in the middle. I don't know, but I love it. It's real good. We wanted to get a mullet in this episode, and we got a mullet in this episode. All right. I'm gonna, you guys know the jam by now. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to smash this. I'm going to crawl up here. I'm going to have some shut eye in the morning. We're going to go and do it all again. Just remember, my doggies, life is for living. Get outside. Have fun. Don't care what people think. Just do your thing. Have fun. we only got one crack at this life, so let's make it a bloody good one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video on the next adventure. Mwah. Love each and every one of you. Soup! Hey! What are they? They're catfish. I'll eat one if I have to. There you go, mate. Hey, where's all the mullet at, brother? Off he goes. Come on, mullet. Where are you, mullet? 